Hello, hello, welcome back to the Bourbon Bar. My name is Carlos, and today we're gonna to do Stag Junior Batch 17. Um, it comes out pretty uh, rarely, a couple times a year, and I don't know if you guys are aware, but the Stag Junior portion has been dropped and it'll become just Stag going forward. Uh, batch 17 comes in at, uh, what is it, like 64%? So yeah, 128.7 proof. Uh, kind of lower, I shouldn't say kind of lower, just not as high as some of the most recent ones. Some of them have been around 130 or so, but it doesn't really matter. And I mean, it's still really, really great, high quality, high proof bourbon. Um, I wanna mention the MSRP on this is around $70 and it comes from Buffalo Trace's um, recipe number one, which is the low, low rye, uh, less than 10% rye recipe. Um, it's pretty hard to find, right? Round Mountain, Illinois. Um, I got a couple in, yeah, I got two in January this year, uh, 2022, and I haven't seen any releases out here since. On social media, I've seen a few drops with um, like store picks, and I just haven't seen any out of my area yet, personally. If I do, I'm getting one, but as of now, I haven't seen anything, so I'm pretty lucky to have this one, and it's really, really good. So anyways, yeah, the color, dark molasses, the legs on this are rich and thick. They're pretty amazing, to be honest. And then um, age statement, I don't think I mentioned yet. It doesn't carry an age statement, but per their website, it's close to 10 years. And I believe every bit of that proofs in the pour, right? I mean, when you taste it, it's just, it's freaking awesome. So anyways, the nose, Rich caramel, some maple, some oak, but not like hot oak, like sweet oak, sweet wet oak. A little bit of leather and molasses. And just a touch of red fruit, like maybe like, maybe like cherry. Just off the nose, you know you're in for a good drink here. got me breathing heavy, but that's just because I held it in the palate for so long, I just really wanted to soak it up. It's so rich and viscous and like caramel, like leather, like syrup, brown sugar. There's a bit of oak in it, but it's outstanding. Um, and also, I know I've mentioned in the past that I like to give my high proof or high H state high age stated bourbons a little time to open up. I've had this open for a couple months now. When I first opened it, it was really hot, but it was still, after the initial hotness, uh, you can get into you know cherries and rich caramels and sugars that I'm getting right now. Um, off the palate, there is a bit of red fruit. And right now, my, like I said, I held it on my palate for, I don't know, probably 10 seconds there. And I'm still releasing flavors. It's, there's still oil coat in the back of my tongue. I feel like I'm, when I, as I'm breathing, I'm just like flammable. Um, not too bad. I mean, there's a little bit of warmth in the mouth. It's not, to me, it's not obnoxiously hot. I can handle that. I like that quite a bit. Uh, really, really rich and viscous. And then, like I said, going down afterwards, there is definitely a bit of a hug. And it's not, I don't know, I don't feel like a fire-breathing dragon, but that's, for a lot of people, that's going to be hot. So this is not for the non-high proof drinker. I'm gonna get back into it, see what I can pull from the finish, and then I'll give it a quick rating and we'll get on to the next. That is so, so damn good. I really wish this was more easily available. As this is starting to finish off here, I'm just getting some oak, some vanilla, some syrup, some clove. 
Yeah, some nice rich sugars. Just a little bit of lingering oak, I mean. And it's not, again, it's not like a hot oak to me. This is like a sweet, wet, fresh barrel type oak, not, er, freshly dumped barrel type oak. Really good though. Um, so I guess I'll get into rating it. You know, availability on this one is probably gonna be its biggest knock, but anyways, pricing at $70 MSRP. If you can get it for $70, A plus, this is phenomenal. And again, I like high proof bourbon. So to me, this is one of the best high proof bourbons you can get for under $100. 70 bucks, buy it all day. Um, unfortunately, I've seen this significantly higher than 100 bucks or 70 bucks. I've seen it closer to 200 a couple times. I don't know, to each his own. I, I wouldn't go two, 300 on it. I might go up to 100 or so, maybe just slightly north, but yeah, this is not a $150, $200 burden to me. And like I said, I really just wish it was easier to find because now I'm gonna get into availability and I have to give it a C minus and that might be slamming it, but two to three releases a year at this. It's July now and I've seen one release for the whole year. And that's in my state of Illinois. I don't know if there's been any drops. If there has, I missed out. I got this one in January, so I got the first release of the year, and that was the secondary delayed um, release of Batch 17 that came out in 2021. So it's not like this is, you know, a stag without the junior. This is just a, I got really lucky to find it. And then quality, I have to give it an A plus. It's outstanding to me. I, I love the high proof. I love the cherry, the nuttiness, the brown sugars, the sweet oak. I love the viscosity, the way it, after you swallow, you're just swallowing and swallowing and just like chewing on it. And it's just flavorful and sweet and rich. And yeah, I really like it. Really, really like it. Um, anyways, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And hope to see you guys next week. Thank you.